Hello and welcome back to Pine City Avery. I'm Paul. Today we're going to be taking a look at Hive Face to see how they're doing and make sure that they've got enough space. So let's do this. All right, so two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 16 bars on them. That's pretty good considering where they came from. And of course we put the uh, two bars with my sugar mess in on the end. They've got that one really cleaned up quite a bit. They got a lot of work on this one yet, but they are working it, getting it cleaned up. Another one with sugar mess. You've got nectar and pollen in that one. This is the bar that we just gave them last time. They're building that one sideways still, I think. We may have to cut that off. Okay, we've got a uh, brood in here that's hatching out and it's being backfilled with with uh, eggs. More brood on this side. This is the comb that we recently gave them. It's got eggs in it. This is the one that I had to twist last time. Okay, what we're doing here is we're just looking for swarm cells. Making sure they've got brood in here. We've got larva. You can see some eggs. Now, on a top bar hive, you're going to find the swarm cells along the sides and bottom. That is a little bit different than from a Langstroth where they are usually all on the bottom. But they see the sides of these combs as the bottom. That's why they don't typically attach them to the walls unless they get too heavy. 
This one has got eggs. It's got some nectar and larva. Eggs, nectar, and larva on that one. This is also one that we recently gave them. Looking down, this one's got quite a bit of brood. And some weight, so there's some honey in there too. A lot of drone brood. Okay, drone brood could be a sign that they want to swarm. It's not necessarily it's just a sign. Alright, here's one we just put in. see eggs in it. A lot of brood, some larva. A lot of newly cat brood, some drone at the top. A lot of uh, brood on that one, a lot of nectar. More of the same nectar, brood. My girls. Got pollen and nectar. This one is just full of nectar.
Now I didn't see the queen, but I did see brood and I did see eggs. So pretty sure the queen is in there. All right, so that's high face. Uh, we went in there, went through each of the combs, did not see any signs of swarm cells. Saw quite a bit of drone, well, not quite a bit. There's drone brood in there, which is to be expected. I did not see the queen, but I saw eggs, and I saw brood and larva. So she's probably in there, I'm guessing. Now, this hive, hive face, is uh, special to me. It was uh, last year. It was a walkaway split. Uh, we found on hive uh, stripe. We found queen cells. So I took one of the bars with queen cells, moved it over here with uh, some bees, some honey, some pollen, some brood, and uh, set up a small hive over here. And uh, they got going, and they were. They did pretty well. They got themselves built up for for uh, winter pretty well. And then winter came and I thought we lost them. We even went in there one time and found the hive full of frost and icicles on the combs. And if you know anything about bees, moisture inside the hive in the wintertime is not good. So we were very concerned on this hive getting through. Um, but it made it through. It did a heck of a job. Uh, we, you see the uh, the frames that I or the bars that I call my sugar mess. Um, that was my attempt to rescue them by giving them food close to the to the uh, to the cluster, and uh, I gave it to them twice. So I probably didn't have to give it the second time. But I didn't want them to fail on my behalf after they had been working so hard to make it <clears throat> so long. So, very, very proud of that hive, I guess is the best way to put it. Because they came through so much and they're doing so well now. Well, that's the long story on Hive Face. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up are super cool, and you too can be super cool if you give me one. Do you know what else is super cool? That's right, subscriptions. Have you subscribed to this channel yet? If you have, thank you very much. It's greatly appreciated. If you haven't, why not? Go ahead, it's free. It doesn't cost you anything, but it means a lot to me. And, as always, have a great day, and thank you for watching.